Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today we are looking at the Barbie the Movie inline skating or roller skating, roller blading. What do you say, roller blading or roller skating? Um, dolls. We've got these two right here. Obviously we have Barbie and we have Ken. And yes, I'm very excited. I would say these are my favorite Barbie the Movie dolls. I really, really love the Western and the disco ones too. And a lot of the Kens are really cool as well, but these ones are just so cute to me. I love their colorful, vibrant neon outfits. They are so adorable. And I'm excited to finally have these and finally open them. I've been wanting them for so long. I, I found Ken pretty easily, but Barbie took a while. My mom very, very graciously got me Barbie for Christmas, so thank you, mom. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at these dolls. And I do want to give, I just want to for fun, play around with her hair and um, see if we can do just like a different hairstyle, just for fun, just to see. So yeah, um, that's what I like to do here. If you're new here, I like to, um, you know, unbox, review dolls, and also give little makeovers and restorations. So if you're into that, then definitely keep watching and watch more of my videos and follow me or subscribe. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's just take a look at the boxes first. So this obviously is our Barbie and she's got her roller skates right in there and then yeah she's got some little cute accessories with her outfit and then on the side of the box it just has the barbie the movie logo the back of the box has a picture of margot robbie and the other side of the box is pretty similar as the other side and then the top and the bottom so yeah super cute that's barbie and then ken Pretty much the same thing. And the back of the box does not have a photo of Ryan Gosling. It just has a photo of Barbie Dreamhouse, and I'm guessing it's just because this is not really a doll made in the likeness of Ryan Gosling, whereas this one is made to be Margot Robbie as Barbie. So yeah, anyways, the back of the box and then the sides and the other side. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's open them. We'll just start with Ken first. Um, and I'm just going to start from the bottom of the box. Okay, and here he is just once more again in the box. Yeah, these dolls do not come with stands. Oops, okay. So first we have his roller skates right here. Great, okay. Yeah, these dolls are pretty easy to unbox, I'm finding. Um, it's just, you know, plastic little fasteners, and then he does have these plastic things in his head that I find, you can just easily pull them out with like, yeah, I just use like one of these things and I just, but yeah, I feel, you know, I'm a little late to the game with these dolls. I know they've been out for a while now, but like I said, I had a hard time finding them, so. It is what it is. I'm glad that I get to finally experience them. Hey, great. So he's out of his plastic packaging finally. And wow, this is so cute. We'll take a, a good look at his outfit in just a moment, but I do want to get this plastic stuff off his head. Okay, great. So that little plastic holder came off pretty easily and the, the hat or the visor still stays on his head very, very well. It's not falling off or anything. So great. His hair is obviously oops, um, very, very gelled and crunchy, but I'm not really going to bother doing anything to his hair. Um, I think it looks fine as it is in my opinion. So we're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave his hair how it is. But let's take a look at his outfit. So super cute. He's got those neon, like yellow, greenish accessories, uh, the knee pads, the wristbands, this little fanny pack. And then he's got this like puffer, windbreaker, vest, jacket, a pink tank top underneath, and then the sh matching shorts. So here he is without the jacket. Now the... What's this called? Um, oh my gosh, 
Fanny pack is adjustable. Like you can make it looser or tighter. Yeah, okay, great. So the fanny pack, yeah, I think I'm gonna make it just a little tighter. Okay, actually, wait, I think it was already on the tightest setting. I don't remember. I will have to rewatch this footage and look and see what it was set to, but I don't remember. This does, this still feels, you know, a, a little, a little loose. You see how, um, loose it kind of is but you know i mean that's that's fine that's cute it's you know doesn't need to be super super tight great and then yeah his shorts and everything so cute i love this a lot and the the knee pads can easily just slide off and yeah you can take the knee pads off pretty easily however it looks like you could also open them there's a little fastener on the knee pads too that I'm not gonna mess with. I find that you can just flip the, the knee pad upside down to get it on and off and then turn it back forward and slide it up into position. I mean, you know what? I guess this could be a little bit tighter because it keeps sliding down. So let's let's see, let's tighten it. Okay, so it, it's a little tighter now. Oops, no, okay. Okay, yeah, it keeps falling down, but it's okay, it is totally fine. His wristbands can come off too, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and really quickly, Ken does have um, some articulation. So he has wrist articulation, elbow articulation, and shoulder, neck, and hip. He can sit and he can bend his knees. But there is no thigh or ankle or um, bicep, tricep, you know, shoulder, lower shoulder articulation. So not made to move, but still pretty well articulated. I also forgot to show you the roller skates. So yes, they're super cute. Very grateful that we got some nice painted details on this. And the blades are real too. They actually can do that. So yes, love that. Okay, and funnily enough, he can stand on his own like a lot of Ken dolls usually can. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead. Let's finally open up our Barbie. Yeah, he, he can stand pretty well. I was worried that these like actually functional roller blades would be a problem, but no, okay, great. Here she is. Beautiful, gorgeous. Did everyone watch the Golden Globes? Did you all see Margot Robbie dressed as 1977, I think, Superstar Barbie? I thought that was so cute. I've been loving all of her Barbie recreation outfits that she's been wearing on all of these red carpets. I think it is so clever and so fun to see these looks in human form, human size. So yeah, super cute. I love the earring magic look that she did. And Solo in the spotlight too, that was really cute. And I love seeing all of these doll customizers and content creators um, remaking their Margot Robbie dolls wearing those outfits. I think it's so cute and so fun. Okay, great, she's out. We will get her blades out or skates out. I don't know, are they skates or blades? Our Barbie just has some thread to keep her hair as neat as possible inside of the box. So I'm just going to try and carefully cut the thread um, without cutting her hair. Okay, so she is out. We took the plastic fastener off her head and um, yeah, her hair is kind of a mess. So um, I definitely want to try out something fun with it. So yeah, but she's got some thread keeping these two little sections in the front held um, separate or together. And then she also has just um, a clear elastic rubber band on uh, the top to give her this little top ponytail moment happening here. So that's really cute. And I can't tell yet if she has a part or not. I hope she does. I think she does. We will find out soon. Well, I will find out soon. I'm sure you all maybe already know if you already have this doll. <laughs> so yeah. Also her outfit is two pieces. She does have some articulation and <gasps> she has flat feet, which I was not expecting. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't know she was going to have flat feet until I actually saw on Facebook earlier today, someone posted that. Um, 
and I didn't know that. I didn't know, but it's fine. You can easily put her on a made-to-move body, and she will have she will have ankle articulation, so she can still wear her flat-footed skates, or she could wear heels. So yeah, only difference like with this Barbie versus I think all the other Barbie the movie Barbies is they have um, curved feet instead of flat feet. So yeah, but that's her. Now, sadly, I'm having the same issue with these knee pads and shoulder pads. Um, they just won't tighten as tight as I would like them to be. So, so, you know, that's just what I'm experiencing. It might be different for you, but yeah, mine are, they're sliding down uh, quite a bit. So hopefully we can find a way to get them to stay a little bit tighter. But yeah, what I'm most excited for is just trying out um, a fun, different little hairstyle with her. So basically, yeah, she's got the same articulation as Ken. So elbow, sh wrist, shoulder, head, hip, and knees. She's got that knee articulation. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's just have some fun with her hair. Let's see what other um, look we can come up with. Okay, so here she is again, just right out of the box. Obviously I took off her outfit, but yeah, here she is. So her hair, as you can see, does need some cleaning up. It's not too bad really. It's just, you know, there's some strays, could use a good brush. So yeah, but I do wanna be a little extra today and um, do something totally different. So, so yeah, let's get to work. I'm just gonna take out this rubber band in her hair and then also those little strings that are um, keeping the two sections in the front held together. Oh, and by the way, the earrings are not designed to be removed. So um, I will change that later on, but yeah, just so you know. And yeah, now that we've got that ponytail out, we can see she does have a part. Thankfully, I do need to clean it up a bit, but yeah, she's got a part. So great, that will make this look so much easier. So now I'm just gonna get her hair ready. I do want to, like I said, clean up these strays and these flyaway hairs. Um, so I'm just gonna spray it with some water and then put some conditioner in her hair and then comb her hair and then we will do a boil rinse. Before we do the boil rinse, I decided I do want to swap her just because the Barbie the movie doll, she can't sit at a proper 90 degree angle. Like if you see here, she's a little over 90 degrees. She's like maybe like 120, I don't know. But here on the Made to Move, she can obviously sit any way that we want. So I decided I will swap her. Um, but yeah, the feet are the same. So the shoes, the skates should work totally fine. Um, so yeah, we will do a body swap and I went ahead. I just let her head sit in boiling water for about not boiling water, but hot, fresh off the pot boiling water for about two minutes. And now I'm just very, very carefully and gently trying to slowly pull her head off, making sure not to break the peg because I've done that way too many times and to make head swapping easier in the future i'm gonna just remove this top portion of the peg um because you know i don't know just in case i ever change my mind this way it does make it easier to swap heads again so now we've got our barbie the movie doll and we'll just do the same thing and i will say taking her head off was a little bit harder and i did end up ruining the peg on this body um, so yeah, just be careful, be very, very careful, uh, when you do this. And now, now that her head is super hot from the, or, or super soft from the hot water, I can also pull out the earrings. This did take some, some tugging, but we finally got them out. Like I said, I'm going to remove the little anchors on the earrings just by chopping off that part of the earring. So that way it can slide in and out super easily. Lastly, I do want to um, swap the hands. Okay, so how I do the hands, I just put them upside down just like this in the boiling hot water for about two minutes. And then you can just pull the hands right out. The Barbie the movie doll, it was much harder to take the hands out. And it was harder to pop those hands into the made to move body but it can be done. So we finally did the boil rinse and I just wanna say like she looks so good already 
with a nice boil rinse, um, using some conditioner. She looks so good like this. Like, I want to get a another one to open and play with and do fun hair stuff with because she's just such a beautiful doll. Like, the face sculpt, everything, she's so beautiful. So I'm, I really love this doll. So let's go ahead and let's try out a different hairstyle. So here she is. I wanted to put the visor on just to make sure that it can accommodate these pigtails. And then as you see, I left some strands in the front just to give it, you know, a, a, some, a little something. And uh, I think I, I really like it. I think it's cute. I think it's fun and it's kind of... I don't know what the word is, like quirky, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah, so so that's what we're doing. We're doing these pigtails, but I do want to take it just a little step further and make it a little more extra. And we're going to crimp the pigtails. So before we crimp my priority doll's hair, I'm going to take this made to move Barbie and crimp her hair just to test out the crimp size. This crimper that I have right here, it is heat adjustable and it also comes with different plates. So you can use it as a flat iron to straighten hair. You can also um, swap out different crimping plates so that way you can have like bigger crimps or tighter crimps. So I'm actually using the middle plate on this right here. And I'm also using the lowest heat setting. Even the lowest heat setting will burn your doll's hair. If you keep the hair held between the plates for too long, it will melt. If you don't do something to dampen the hair first, it probably will also melt. So I definitely recommend to first do a strand test and make sure you have some, you know, water in a spray bottle nearby so that way you can keep the hair somewhat damp and hydrated. You don't want the hair soaking wet because then it won't really hold a strong crimp. But um, you want to practice first on a doll that you don't care about and find that good mix of how moist and hydrated the hair needs to be, and then um, how long you wanna press and hold for. You don't wanna press and hold for longer than five seconds. I did that and I made that mistake and I did melt this doll's hair. Um, and I tried to hide it by just using some extra conditioner. Yeah, um, so yeah, okay. So now let's just crimp her hair and I'm just gonna do one of the ponytails or one of the pigtails and then I'll do the other off camera and then we'll come back and see how it's looking. Okay, so here's how it's all looking. Um, and yeah, I think it's cute. I'm going to just kind of loosen the crimps just by like combing through it. And then I did go ahead. I just took my little mini curling iron and just curled those sections in the front and I just curled them um, outward going away from her face. And obviously I did that all off camera. And now I'm just going to trim off any uh, stray um, extra hairs off the ends of these pigtails. And if you want any of these tools that I'm using, like the heat tools or this, this nice metal tooth comb, I will link everything in the description down below. These are my Amazon affiliate links. So I will get a little commission when applicable on some of these items. Um, so you can check that out. Okay, so great. I think it's all starting to look good. So let's finally put her back in her outfit. And the earrings. And I think she looks so cute. Like I like it without the visor, but obviously the visor does complete the look. So let's go ahead, let's put on the rest of her accessories. So because the elbow pads were a little loose and sliding down, I'm just using a rubber band to help keep these in place. And this rubber band that I'm using, as well as the, the pink rubber bands in her hair, these are orthodontic rubber bands, which I highly recommend that you get for your dolls. I will also link those in the description below um, because they're nice and small and I find that they, they're not as bulky as some rubber bands. So yeah, so there she is. Okay, so we are back and I apologize if you can hear the rain outside. It is, it is raining. So, okay, Ken, yeah, like I said, we're, we're not really doing anything with him. He's staying as is and I love him. I think he's so cute. So great. Okay, next, 
here she is once again. I just put the, the headband in her hand just for right now, just so we can like, you know, get an idea of how her hair is looking. I'm so annoyed. There's just this one piece of hair right here. I don't know how, but somehow this one piece of hair did not get pulled up into the, what's it called? Um, into the pigtails. So yeah, it is what it is. But but yeah, I, I think it's cute. I think it's fun. It's different. You know, that's just what I'm going for. I wanted to just um, do a, a totally different look than what she originally had. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I really, I really love the curls in the front. I think this look would look cute also without crimps and with curls instead. So yeah, and then with the visor on, I think it's really cute and it's just, I don't know, it, it feels athletic in a way or um, I don't know what the word is, but there we go. Okay. Yeah. With the visor on, I think it's cute and it's, you know, I think it's cute and fun and like this outfit is just so um, totally hair Barbie era of Barbie. You know what I mean? Like early, early 90s, late 80s. And so I feel like the crimped hair, I, I feel like it's just an homage to um, hot pink 90s, 80s Barbie. So yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on both of these dolls and the Barbie movie dolls in general. I'm making sure that they are standing. Okay, yes. Um, yeah, I will say in hindsight, I, I feel like the, the body swap wasn't really necessary because now she's just going to be on her stand and I'm not going to sit her down really, you know, she's going to be standing. So I, I could have kept her on her original body, but it is nice that she has more elbow articulation and she can do, you know, a full, you know, bring, bring her head up to her, her visor maybe, you know, that might be cute. Like if she's doing something like this, you know. She can do that, I guess. So it is it is nice having that extra posability. Cute. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. So yes, thank you all again for watching. Definitely check out more of my videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time. Bye.